This country is suffering, yeah, no knife crime, nothing. At Leicester, come on. Come on! Be on numerous skills. I ain't trying to be gym fit, involved with numerous chinging, swing it, bleach it, keep my distance. We just backed it, blade. Real talk, if that was me, I guarantee that I'd Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors at Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company, get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. Tyson Fury said that life is made of moments. And this video of MD, also known as Morsley, and his real name was John Soyoye. Shortly after, John would then be stabbed to death by several teenagers who have just been jailed today for a minimum of 21 years each on average. These young men will not be free until they're in their 40s. And as I highlight so often on the channel, I'm a big supporter of music, but I do not and will never support any violence or encouragement of violence. And if we're going to be honest, some of the lyrics that were said in John's song were direct disses to other gang members. And this will only ever provoke a response. Inside the courtroom, evidence was used from drill music videos. The gang members made a song saying, the same day my bro got touched was the same day your bro got murdered. And this was in reference the courtroom heard to the fact that M40 members who Morsley was associated with had attacked the brother of one of his killers earlier on in the day. And in the same way that direct disses about dead victims will get a response, so will attacks like this. John was very talented and he also had a good stage presence as well. But what this also leads to is jealousy and you will stand out and people will try to take the clout that you have obtained. And this can make you a target and put you more at risk than you could ever imagine. John was murdered on bonfire night in 2020 and he was with members of a gang called the M40 crew. They had earlier attacked the brother of Francesco Raji, and he was a member of a gang called RTD. Two of the rival groups, and some members were even school kids, met up to attack each other with knives and machetes. The gang that John had come with, the M40 gang, ran off, but John slowed down due to an injury that he suffered earlier. John's mother said in a statement that she knows that he wasn't perfect, but he didn't deserve to die, and he did. This is unbearable. Death was a sudden shock and we are trying to understand why anybody would do this. The court heard that at 5 to 7 on Thursday the 5th of November 2020, a group of 30 males were walking along Moston Road in the direction of Kenyon Lane. As they reached the junction, the group began to cross over into Kenyon Lane and pull out weapons. It was at this point that the group ran at each other and males that was including the victim John began to swing machetes and other weapons at each other. Brent Chipenda began to fight with John and two other people tried to get involved and both of them were injured during the attack. The larger group began to chase them on foot down Birchall Street and once they reached Birchall Street, John became isolated from his friends and he slowed down due to the injuries that he'd already suffered. This caused him to fall to the ground and he was surrounded by nine males who subjected him to a violent attack and all of them continuously struck him, stabbed him, slashed him and kicked him. The attack was also filmed by one of the group. Because the priority with these incidents is not to actually commit the offence, it's to make sure that you can tell people about it. The larger group then fled at the scene and jumped into taxis and headed towards the hospital due to one of their own injuries. When they arrived at the hospital, Chipenda went into A&E alone and told the staff that he was a victim of an assault in the Oldham area. Later on in the same evening, the police had come to the hospital and they were suspicious of Chipenda's story and they arrested him on suspicion of murder. Later on, Francesco Raji, Christopher Semido, Nelson Carrero, Octavia Antonio and a 16-year-old boy who cannot be named were all arrested as well. And later that month, items were seized that included phones and clothing that was used on the night of the murder. Examination of the 16-year-old's phone revealed drill lyrics that was written on an iPhone pad and they made reference to the death of MD, which was the nickname that was used for John. A video was also uncovered of two of the attackers bragging about the murder. Octavia Antonio was arrested trying to board a train earlier on in the day and Ishmael Correa was arrested on the 23rd of December and then following an 11-week trial, several of them was convicted. 
Brent was sentenced to 21 years minimum. Octavio was sentenced to 20 years minimum. Ishmael Correa was jailed for 20 and a half years. And Nelson Correa was jailed for 23 and a half years. The 16 year old was jailed for 16 years. Mohamed Al Jaff was found not guilty of murder but guilty of manslaughter and violent disorder and will be sentenced at a later date. There is five other suspects that are still wanted, but the police believe that they've left the country. Detective Inspector Gareth James from the Greater Manchester Police Major Incident Unit said, This was horrific and violent and a senseless attack on a young boy, and it cost him his life. Thankfully, innocent bystanders were not injured, but they were trying to intervene and also help save the boy's life. And this just highlights the damage that gang culture can do and also the choice that people make to carry weapons. And every single time I cover a story like this, it just really makes me angry that young people can throw their lives away so easily. And also the fact of a young boy's life has been taken and we can't ignore the fact that it's written in front of you, the evidence is there, it's been said in a courtroom, we can watch the videos, we can see the dates, the times, the things that happened, and you can't say that gang culture doesn't have an impact and isn't reflected on social media. The owners of the radio station, Pi Radio, even said in their caption, the country is suffering and we need to say no to knife crime. They said that next schools need to relax with the violent chat or we won't be able to post any videos anymore. And they go on to tell people to subscribe to their channel and that their main objective is to showcase talent. And this is obviously a good thing, but at the same time, it also shows how drill music and at the same time, gang culture as well is part of schools. And it, it always has been to a degree, of course, crime and gang will always start in schools. But nowadays, due to social media, there definitely seems to be an enhancement of problems and things can escalate a lot faster and a lot bigger. Honestly. Say swear to what be for us, man. I hop out the right, trying to leave my famous. Dude. Man, know how we do on a block, no ram me on me, dude. That with a stainless. We get addies like yellow pages, man. Get chef live all and people need to really be aware of that when they're choosing to become a rapper or become a musician. Be aware of what you say and also on the platform that you're saying it on. So I know this story following his death became very popular on the blogs, but at the same time I covered this story from the second that it happened. And this has always been about how it has affected the kids that grow up in that area and what has changed since MD's death or what hasn't. So I really want to hear from people in the comments what you think and also please pay respects to John as well. And I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Thank you. Peace.